thing on. So it's 4.50 in the morning. We're arriving early to the coffee truck. I figured I'd do a little coffee truck update. So we're going to take you along, hopefully show you a bunch of stuff, let you know how it's going. We are on month nine, I believe. So, yep, let's go. So far, I have my coffee on the way to work. Americano with honey and almond milk. It was so good. Um, so far, we stopped and got ice at the ice machine. It's just like a really nice pour-out ice machine. And now Ben is getting gas. I don't know if you can see him. So he's getting gas. Is this thing on? It's not it's so on. So early. Yeah, it's on. Um, so then he's got to go in Walmart and grab a few things like milk or whatever, a few chocolate things that he needs. Um, and then we'll go set up. So. I'll put those down. You give them to me. I'll put them out. Okay. And he's gonna pull up. Got that lifted up. Unhooked. And then I'm going to drop it down. So usually he does all this stuff by himself. Usually I'm not here in the early morning. I come after I get the kids off to school or just like I come for opening time. But I figure today since I'm here, kind of show how it works for everybody who's like, how do you do this? And if anybody thinks that this will be easy, I hate to tell you. <laughs> There's a lot of work goes into this. Now we can go in. So now I'm going to go ahead and get set up and I was starting to set up the syrups but he said you got to put the cords out. So the cords go to the generator. There are three different cords and the generator stays in the back of the truck. That's why he moved the truck behind there and um, kind of blowing the CO2 away from us. And um, so yeah, the generator runs a lot of stuff though. That is an air conditioner back there that I was touching that keeps us eh, fairly cool. Um, but yeah, and it also runs, you know, the hot water pump that's in there and the espresso machines and so, um, yeah, everything runs off the generator. So, so we're just getting set up here and I'm opening the window for some cool air, getting out all of our little steamer things and espresso cups and I don't know the words for all the things because even though I'm a coffee snob, I always say the wrong word. Like the porta filter, the th that's the thing that you get the espresso out of. Like the wand, I call it a wand. It's a porta filter. Who cares? It's a magic wand. It makes my coffee. <laughs> um, but um, I, I am a coffee snob in the way that, like, we have organic coffee. It's local. We use filtered water. Um, we make our own syrups and make them in small, small batches. So I'm making syrup like all the time. <laughs> um, so here I'm just getting out our square machine. I'll tell you more about that later. Getting our DoorDash turned on and set up. DoorDash is great. Gives us an extra few hundred dollars a week sometimes. Um, it's been slow lately though and I'm making funny faces at my husband because he's grumpy in the morning. All right, so we're okay, about ready. here comes the sound. So Coffee's back making. To sound. Don't sell a ton of drip coffee. Um, we got the air conditioner running. Everything's set up back here. And this thing blows pretty well. Machine's ready. Got the square square on. We got some creeper in the window there. Some creepy hey, guy. <laughs> and we got our DoorDash on. And ready to go. So I'm going to pour the coffee into the coffee pot. Hopefully there's no grinds in it because the filter was really little. Ah! So 
so. Whoa, it's foggy. So we'll see how this day goes. Oh, my sign is breaking. Oh my. Again. One guy we can't lose is Looney. Creepy guy in the window. Keep trying to talk to me before we're open. So, need my breakfast. Creepy guy keeps on. Ben thinks I'm weird for shooting a YouTube video. Dixie's got some donuts we grabbed this morning. We're about to eat. 6:47. I woke him up four thirty-five. Yeah. I gotta get this thing plugged in. Um, the square thing is awesome. This one. I think these are like 200 but we got it second hand for $50. Um, it has slot and um, I need to get some more paper but it prints receipts. I haven't run out of paper yet. Um, so yeah, this thing is awesome. Makes it so much faster. We started out with the ones in our phone, you know, but that just, that was a mess. So we got that. That's cool. And it just hooks up to the hotspot on your phone if you don't have Wi-Fi where you're at. So yeah, I'm going to make me another coffee probably soon after I have a little bit of something to eat. Alright, so I'm making myself a little coffee. I like almond milk. It's my jam. So, getting that warmed up. Go ahead and close up. We were using glass cups, but they kept breaking in the sink, so these ones work pretty good. If anyone tells you you can't foam almond milk, you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. Almost ready. 160. You want coffee. You need to explain to the people why an eight-year-old needs coffee. Because, um, I'm, I want to get tired. You want to get tired? So you want to drink coffee? <laughs> so Dixie ordered a campfire coffee, and <laughs> this is it. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, but it's really good, and I don't know why. I mean, you could come to our shop and ask us what it is and I would tell you. <laughs> it's on the menu and it's on DoorDash. Um, it's really yummy though. So Dixie's always with me when she's out of school because she doesn't want to stay home with her brother. She likes to get up early. She likes to be involved in everything. So I was having her do the register but it just kind of distracts me. So on a busy day she just hangs out, watches her phone and uh, draws pictures or whatnot. And then the generator went out see it got all dark in there sometimes the generator will go out the co2 will uh, get into the co2 detector and it'll shut itself off but um, it's not a big deal it happens just go back out and crank it well I don't go crank it but Ben does so you know this is really it's a joint thing and I'd say definitely equal parts of work go into it I do a lot of the behind the scenes stuff let's say I do all the behind the scenes stuff <laughs> Um, but he does all the grunt work and, um, and then we do all the other stuff shared. Like we clean the trailer together, um, and make the decisions together and, uh, make the drink recipes together. But I really like to make the drink recipes. It's my jam. I have a couple that are really popular, like the French Haze. I'm pretty proud of that one. Um, and his is the Cloud Nine. 
So we, we enjoy making the drink recipes and um, I love that our signature drink is also the name of our coffee truck and people love it. So that one is white chocolate and vanilla. So um, yeah, my power's out right now. So if you hear a beeping sound, that's why. Um, so anyway, we're just working, working, working. It was a fairly busy Friday, so I'm thankful for that. And yeah, we just have whole milk and almond milk and oat milk. And we just have a tiny little fridge, so that's all we can handle. And only four milks fit in our fridge, four gallons of milk. Um, so yeah, and most days I'm doing the customers. He's making drinks. And, you know, he was a chef, so he loves to just be fast and busy, and he's pretty quick. And sometimes we trade just for a change. It's really nice. Um, but I'm used to multitasking, too, on the customer service end, so I enjoy talking to the people and just making those connections. It's really actually um, been great for me after being an online teacher and being home. I For years now, I'm glad to be back talking to people after being a waitress for, you know, 10, 15 years. Um, so yeah, that's really a wrap. That's just us working, working, working. So thankful that it's been steady this Friday and I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. We're pretty much an open book. You know, there's some secrets we don't like to give out, but um, if you're thinking of doing a coffee truck, you know, I'm, I'm happy to answer your questions for the most part. And uh, I say go for it. And um, so far, it's been really great for us. And I hope to see you in another video. Take care, everybody. Bye.